Jacob, his name, his name means supplanter, but his new name, Israel, is almost just as bad. It means struggles with God. So he's trying to get him to see, you've never been fighting with Laban. You've never been fighting with Esau. The fight that you have to win for your life has not been with them. It's always been in you. Because if you believe it's in you, there's nothing anybody can put on you that can cancel what I put in you. Before you were born, I appointed you a prophet to the nations. You are babbling incoherently, sir. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're misrepresenting the scriptures. Stop it. Repent. Believe. It's always been in you. It's always been in you. That teaching gift has always been in you. You just had to get past what you would put on yourself. The idea that I'm not a preacher, I'm just a little girl. I don't have anything to say. That was always in you. It was in you when you were sitting at Life Action Revival, listening to Steve Canfield six nights a week, and God was filling you with his word. It just took the right rain to bring the seed out of the soil for what God put in you when you were just a little girl. It's always been in you. And there's nobody that can leave my life that can keep God from keeping his covenant with me. I'm not in covenant with a person. I'm not in covenant with a political party. I'm in covenant with God Almighty. I am God Almighty. What's wrong with you people? Get that off you. That's not your name. That's not your station. That's not your end. It's in me. It's in me. It's in me. It is God that worketh in you. It's always been in you. The struggle has never been with someone else. The struggle has been within yourself. And God gave Jacob a new name, Israel, but he still has to struggle. Oh, are y'all confused? I'm confused. Yep, I'm confused.